Hi guys, Ernest from Lipo Froz, and I just wanted to run through an updated video on wiring uh, the JK BMS. In particularly, the um, 24 or 20S uh, BMS, but all the BMSs are pretty much wired the same. Um, there is a new model, uh, which is the 300 amp BMS, um, and also the um, ESS BMS, or the inverter BMS, which has an extra B plus minor, uh, B, B plus, cable but apart from that all of them uh, wire pretty much exactly the same and the settings are very similar so I'm going to take you through this so I'm going to turn the camera around okay let's start off with uh, what's in the box so um, we'll open up the box here I'm trying to do this one-handed so um, so inside the box you'll have your um, JK BMS this is the B series um, 24s BMS with CAN and RS-485. Now, <clears throat> normally when you get it um, from um, maybe other suppliers or even JK themselves, you're not gonna have these lugs on the end. So we actually put the lugs on the end uh, as a bit of a, a helping hand for everyone. Um, and so these would go to the B minus or the main negative of your pack, bank. And these two blue wires and these two black wires, they go together. So each one of them would be rated for, you know, over, over 100 amps each. Um, and so when you connect them together, that um, gives it the uh, ratings for the cable, okay? Inside the box, you'll get your balance wires, as we call them. Um, and again, if you get them from your cells, we'll include the um, eyelets um, to connect the wires to. Inside further, you should also receive a start button, um, a temperature sensor with two cables on the end, and then finally this cable here, which is the CAN RS-485 um, adapter. Um, so that's, uh, that's also included. If you're not going to be communicating with the BMS, then you don't really need this at all. Okay, all right, so coming back to the BMS. So this is the um, B-series BMS that we're gonna work with. Um, there are other BMSs that we can provide uh, or are available. So for example, this is the, the 300 amp um, BMS um, 24S. And again, it wires up exactly the same. The only major difference is there's this B plus connection here. So. The only difference that I'm gonna show you, and I'll take it through once I've wired it, is if you're using this BMS, which has a B plus, the B plus goes to the main positive of the um, bank. Um, the other thing as well that we include in our kits is this terminal block. So on the negative side, instead of having to crimp these lugs and join it, um, what we do just to make it easy for everyone is we've got it so that you can screw those two P minus sides onto the end and then join another cable from there to your inverter, charger, whatever you're planning on running. So again, that's something that we include down in our kits that I believe no one else does, uh, or not yet. So what, um, what I've done is, so we've got our cables here with our lugs. Um, this is one that I've already prepared earlier. Okay, and inside there, you're gonna have two wiring looms. One is gonna have a black cable, okay, and then the rest are all gonna be red, okay? Um, and then you can see on the edge here, we've just simply crimped those lugs um, on the end. The way that I like to crimp them, uh, I'll see if I can get one that ex is exposed here. Yep, so for example, this one here. Um, I do it, I crimp it so the cable, and again, Try and get a really good shot, like the auto focus might do it. But I try and crimp it so the, the wire is actually facing down. So that way there's a good connection between the terminal or the, or the eyelet and the cable, okay? Um, now, you're gonna have two of these wiring looms. Um, as I said, one, on, let me just untangle it. Okay, so you're gonna have one with the black wire, okay? and one without. Now, if you're wiring up a 48 volt 
um, system or a 16S system. Okay, it's really, really easy. Um, you start off with your black one and the black one goes to the main, um, sorry, the main negative terminal. So this one over here. Okay, so in this bank here, I'll, I'll take a step back. This is gonna be my main negative and this is gonna be my main positive. Okay, we're gonna call this cell number one, cell number two, three, four, five, and on going up to cell number 16. Okay, so what I like to do, first check the polarity. So double check everything. Um, obviously our negative is here. Um, make sure that your negative terminal has this beige um, cover or a beige sort of a base. Um, uh, ironically, on the lithium ion phosphates, the positive is actually black. Okay, so don't make mix that up. I've been guilty of mixing that up before. Okay, um, so what you want to try and do is just go through and just check everything. And look, don't even be afraid to grab a multimeter and just double check. These um, on the top are just a sticker. And um, unfortunately, I, I believe it's done by human hands. And so at the end of the day, um, I have had one, si uh, one cell where the sticker has actually been around the wrong way accidentally. And uh, I didn't notice it until uh, I started actually putting together. And luckily, I checked and found that it was around the wrong way. Um, so once I've checked all the terminals, I'll go and I'll start putting on the bus bars. Now, you'll get the bus bars in your battery kits um, if you get them from ourselves, including the insulation um, uh, sheets as well, the, the yellow insulation sheets, which you'd normally put between them. So I'll go through and put all this together. Okay, at the back here, this is not normal, but I'll just put one over it over like that. Okay. Okay, so I've got all the terminals in. As I said, here's our, my main positive, here's my main negative, okay? Now, when we start um, putting this together, okay? As I said, we start off with, and again, I'm trying to do this with one hand. We'll start off with the black cable, okay? Um, and we'll put that on our main negative like so. And I'll just hold it there with a terminal nut to start off with. Okay, and then looking at the wiring loom again, okay, the very first wire after the black, okay, so we'll call it cable number two, okay, or wire number two, that goes to the positive of that same cell, so the positive of cell number one, okay, so again, I'll drag that cable out, so this is the eyelet, and I'll put it on the positive of cell number one, okay, again, we'll hold it there with a nut. And then we've, we just simply follow it along, okay? So cable number three, okay? Um, again, doing it with one hand. And this cable here goes to the positive of cell number two. Put a nut on that one. And then positive, sorry, so cable number four, okay, which is this one just here, okay? We'll put it on positive of cell number three. Cable number five will go to positive of cell number four. Okay, so I'm gonna go and I'm gonna put all of these and then we'll come back. Okay, so you can see I've gone through and I've put all the remaining um, red cables of this first um, balance cable um, or balance, balance loom to the rest of the cells. Now, you can see um, we've still got a couple left over and that's when this second um, loom will come in. Okay, so um, to continue on, okay, the best way that I do it is I look at the other one Okay, the first one, and you see that you've got these two um, tabs on the end, okay, with the terminals facing down. So I do the same thing with this second one, okay? And then the very first one to your right, okay, you'll continue on here. So, for example, this um, 
red, uh, sorry, this positive here will get the next um, red wire or the first red wire of the second bank. So we'll try and change hands here. Okay, here we go. So the very first um, red one will go to the positive of this cell. So again, we'll put a nut just to hold it there. Okay, um, now we've got one left over, one positive or the main positive that's left over. Now, um, that not only gets the second red wire, so this one here, okay, but it also gets the very last one. So again, if I grab the needle pull them out, okay, and I'll put that down there, okay. So it gets the second red on the second loom, okay, as well as the very last one. So these two here go to the very last um, positive or the main positive, okay? So we'll put those two on like that. Probably the most common mistake that I think that we, we see with people putting these together is they forget to put that very last wire on and therefore um, the BMS doesn't recognize it as being a um, complete system okay now the other ones in the middle okay so these ones that are all left over you don't need to do anything with them what I do is I just sort of roll them up and and um, and cable tie them I don't like to cut them just because you know these BMS's can do up to 72 volts or 24s and who knows what happens in the future you might want to use it in the future for something else I don't know but um, yeah so these other ones you don't really need on the second loom you only need three wires which is on, on a 16s um, system anyway is the the first two on coming from the right and the very last one okay so I'll go ahead and I'll do all of these up okay so I've gone and I've tightened up all the terminal nuts um, except I haven't tightened up the, the main negative and the main positive. So on the main positive, okay, what you'll also connect is your main positive to either your charger or your inverter, okay? And so you just directly connect anything um, that you're going to be running off the battery bank. So if you're running a battery box, that would go to the main positive terminal, okay? Um, on the negative side, okay, or your main negative side, the two B plus, uh, sorry, the two B minus cables go there. So I'll just put those on like so. I do like to have the balance wire on the top just because, um, I know then it's got a good connection. Okay, so, uh, so you can see on the, the, the main negative, um, we've put the two, B minus cables on as well as the black balance wire and on the positive side we've got our two cables so um, the second and sorry the second and the very last cable going to the main positive as well as that positive cable that would go to your inverter okay this P minus becomes your new main negative so again the, this would then go to your, your charger or your inverter, typically via a circuit breaker, or if you're using a battery box or something like that, same thing, it would go to the main negative terminal. So this becomes your new negative. This is still your main positive. And again, as I said before, we include this terminal block so that you can tighten those down and then use a cable to go from there to there, okay? So that's basically how you wire it up. Um, once you've got it wired up, then you can plug in your balance cables. Now, um, start off with your the one with the, the, the main negative on it. This one here will plug in next to it. Like so, so they'll go in like that. So I'll, again, I'll plug it in. And the other thing as well that <clears throat> you want to make sure that you do is plug in your temperature sensor. So the temperature sensor goes in to this one on the right here. Okay, um, I'll put them all together properly. And then your start button goes in to this one here. Okay, um, now 
I'll plug them all in, but all the cables are unique. So there's no way that you can plug the wrong cable into the wrong port. Um, so I'll go and do that. Okay, so you can see I've plugged the cables in just like so. So our temperature sensor's on the right, sorry, on the left. Our balance wire with the black cable or the main one is on the right. In the middle is the second balance wire loom. And then just at the bottom there, you'll see that that's where your switch can go into. So given that everything's tightened up and everything good, okay, what we'll do is we'll go and we'll press the button and you should hear a beep and then that light should be flashing like that. So once you've done that, you need to go and download the mobile app, which you can jump onto our website and have a look there. So I'll show you where you can do that. Um, so download the mobile app and then jump in and we'll set up the settings.